A number of Albanians have drowned in the English Channel. And since, um, since the beginning of this year, uh, since the presence, actually, of Albanian um, police in Dover and along the south coast, the uh, number of Albanians crossing the Channel has seriously been reduced. Uh, in the 12 months before September uh, last year, 11,000 Albanians crossed. And this year already, uh, that figure has more than halved. In fact, some sources say that it's down to 10%. Uh, and so if you, if, if, you look at, if, if you look at the overall figures, um, yes, the, uh, there's, an, uh, there's an astonishing increase in the number of people who are traveling to Britain by small boat and then uh, claiming asylum. Uh, some people don't claim asylum, some people um, abscond and run into the community. Uh, some people are literally sent back or persuaded to go back. In 2018, um, some 299 people crossed the channel. 2020, 2019, 1,834, 2020, 8,466, 2021, 28,526, 22, 45,755. Now, of those, we don't know, because we didn't um, arrange this in the Brexit deal, we don't know from Europe how many of those have attempted to claim asylum in Europe and were rejected. In the past, when we were part of Dublin Three, when we were part of the European system, we were privy to that information, but because Lord Frost and his friends did not arrange uh, either for a suitable Northern Ireland agreement or for a replication of the Dublin Three protocol, we simply don't have that information. So we don't know the background of these people who are travelling to this country. And I think it would be significantly wiser to have an agreement with France to have um, uh, border sites on the French side of the Channel to deter people from risking their lives, from making that perilous crossing um, over the English Channel to Britain. As Suella Braverman pointed out, once they get to Britain, they can legally claim asylum, and the 1951 Refugee Convention ignores um, whatever route people, people use to reach the country where they want to claim asylum. In the past, we would have talked about refugees. Now we increasingly talk about asylum seekers. From January and February 2023, a total of 2,950 people have crossed the English Channel. That's an increase from 1,482 people over the same period last year. Uh, more than half of the people um, in 2021 were Iranian or Iraqi. 30% Iranian, 22% Iraqi. 10% were Eritrean, 9% Syrian, 5% from Afghanistan. But last year, there was an increase, a spike in the number of Albanians, up to 28% of all those who crossed the highest group. Uh, Afghans were then next at 20% Iranians, 13% uh, slightly down, and Iraqis 10% slightly down. 87% of the people who came were men in 2022. That's similar to previous years. And 12% were under the age of 18, about the same as previous years. Now, um, the average number of people in a boat has gone up significantly from 10 in 2018 to more than 40 last year. Same, same size boats, flimsy rubber dinghies. Uh, that can easily capsize, and the traffickers are putting as many people as they possibly can in the boat and putting as many boats in the water as they possibly can. It doesn't matter uh, about the rhetoric. In fact, the rhetoric seems to be encouraging them to um, traffic more people. And the people who are being trafficked, the victims for the most part, simply do not have any knowledge about whether this is uh, legal or illegal. This is the only information they've got. This is why it's so important that the British government, it want, if it wants to stop this trafficking, if it wants to um, break the trafficking mould, needs to target the 
traffickers. It needs to get the message out to the local communities in the local language. And it needs to offer safe and viable routes, which means um, uh, consulate centres where people can claim asylum uh, on the coast of France. It means putting consulate centres uh, in the north of Albania, not in the airport. Uh, it means getting this, get, getting this message across that Britain is generous and fair, um, but that Britain wishes to discourage people from risking their lives and also to discourage fraud. Uh, these things, I, I think, are perfectly reasonable. But um, challenging international law in this way and ducking our international responsibilities is not a reasonable way forward. If you see that the only reason there's a spike in people crossing the channel is because we uh, opted for Brexit and a Brexit which wasn't properly negotiated. That is demonstrable by the fact that it's taken uh, Chris Heaton-Harris so long to negotiate a better deal for Northern Ireland because it wasn't done properly in the first place. And that wasn't done, and equally, the issue of refugees was not sorted out properly in the first place. Because um, Frost and co. were more interested in uh, getting trade agreements which were already in place. And uh, the various people who have crowed about the trade agreements we've got, well, all we've done is rubber stamp what was already there. So... I'm simply not impressed with the Brexit agreement that we've got. Didn't particularly want Brexit in the first place. But having, having agreed that the referendum vote was a decisive vote rather than uh, an advisory vote, I think we should have gone for it properly. I think we should have made a serious, uh, a, a serious agreement and a serious negotiation. Instead, we made a mess and we are paying for it today.